welcome back to this DC Universe Online Let's Play. You're Sambo, and joining us, as always, is Taraya, our level 8 Earth powered superhero in her yellow and gold. And of course, if you joined us in the last episode, you'll remember we were right outside here. That's right, outside the hive base. Why are we here? Let's have a look at our journal here. This is a quest called The Hornet's Nest, and you can see here in a little Bohemia, infiltrate the Metrodome to free kidnapped Star Labs and Lex Core scientists. It is a level 8 quest. We are level 8, and you can see our goal here is to infiltrate the hive defenses. That is exactly what we're going to do. You can see down there it says enter the hive. That's where we're headed. But of course, before we do that, it's time for a couple of shout outs. You guys know how much I love my shout outs. The first one here is from Ed Stenator, and they say, Hey there, Sambo, can I please have a shout out for my level 13 hero, Super Frost? It would make me really happy. Well, Ed Stenator, a big shout out to your hero Frost there and thank you for your support. Got another one here from CODMW3 Dude. Hmm, I wonder what games you're into. They say, can you please give me a shout out? Your gameplay made me get DC Universe Online. Certainly can mate and a big hello to you. Got another one here from James Glisson and they say, hey there, my name is Miss Fortune. Someone took the name already so sorry about the spelling but can I have a shout out? You most certainly can. Thank you very much James for your support. Appreciate it. Got another shout out out here from Orange Tank 009 and they say hey can you please make a shout out for me in the next video please and thank you no thank you Orange Tank 009 for your support greatly appreciated got another one here from Zokikes and they say hey I'm gonna try out DC Universe online but I've got a question for you Sambo NZ do you play on the US with your awesome Super Zeros members or are you on the EU and can I please get a shout out in your future videos thanks mate and I hope I'm seeing you online and I hope one day I get to join the Super Zeros well there's Okikes you know what we play on the US PVE PC server I know it's a bit of a mouthful but yeah we're on the US servers and not the EU one so if you can come along and join us it'll be great to see you and thank you for your support finally here got one from Dark Slayer 123 and they say hey there Sambo I love your commentaries please can I have a shout out in a few Future video. My name is Light Saint and I'm a level 12 light superhero. Thank you very much. Wow, that's awesome. Level 12 for the light. You guys know how much I love the light characters. And of course, I'm talking about Jordan and she just recently hit level 30. And I can let you know, Dark Slayer 123, that it is one heck of a lot of fun. So good choice there. And I certainly hope you're still enjoying the game. In the meantime, folks, we've got a mission to do down here entering the hive. It's probably one of Taraya's very first instances one of her very first solo instances at least and you can see here already we've got ourselves an objective which is to find four scientists and you can see on the mini map there we go we've got this guy now we've been here many times in the past so we kind of know what to expect but every time it's really hard it'll be interesting to see how tough it is on Taraya here who let's not forget is our earth powered character geokinesis and seismic you can see she's still got a skill point left there oh I wonder what we can pop that into I don't think there's anything too much let's have a look oh we have got a point here and one of them is called home run swings a powerful knockback blow and allows us to permanently gain 1% critical healing chance that's pretty cool this one here is a health passive if you like it permanently increases our stats boosting our health by plus 15 per point that could be kind of handy and we've got another one here which permanently increases our vitalization hmm I'm not sure. Maybe what we'll do is, yeah, I think we'll do the home run because that's three times hold. I reckon we'll accidentally do that if anything else. Let's give it a go and see if it actually works already. Get rid of that. Here we go. One, two, three. Wham! Yeah, I'm pretty sure that that is the home run because if we do things normally, she just does a normal animation. So again, hold, hold, hold. Whack! That is awesome. All right, and it's nice and easy to pull off as well, so we'll definitely be using that My one. My squad was infiltrating the Hive's defenses when we came across LexCorp troops looting the place. They fired on us and ran. We got to round them up before they cause more trouble. You can start with that guy over there. He should come to any minute. Sounds good to me. Here we go. Justice for all. LexCorp Spec Ops ambushed a science police squad inside the Metrodome. Find the Spec Ops and arrest them. Yeah, I think we can do that for you, mate. No problem at all. In fact, there's one right there. Using the E key, of course. 
when there's a U symbol, or rather a U symbol, there we go, we've already arrested one out of three. Here's a spec op down here. Now let's see if we can use our new ability. One, two, three. Yeah, that was pretty good. I like that one. I got my rights. There we go. Arrest the LexCore Spec Ops. That is now two out of three. Oh yeah, I'm liking this new ability. It is definitely very powerful. Let's lock on. One, two, three. Whack! Whoa, it kind of one-shots them if you know what I mean. One, two, three. Oh! It's a bit hard to pull off sometimes. Yeah, that is awesome. And of course, we've got our leap. You guys know how much I love a leap. Plus, of course, let's not forget our actual Earth abilities. And I'm using them there. Yeah, this is turning out to be a really, really fun character, actually. Wasn't too sure about it at first, but the more we level up, the more fun these abilities and combos are. Now, where did he disappear to? Did I kill him in one shot? Surely not. Looking around, and he is nowhere to be seen. All right, fine. One shot kill. I'm not going to complain about that. Here we go. Here's one of the scientists. Thank you. The drones kept interrogating me about exobytes. And, of course, that's my new ability there. My shield that I got in our last Taraya episode. Really happy about this as well. Like I say, she's turning out to be a really well-rounded and fun character. Especially liking this new weapon set that we're using. We've never used the two-hander before. And in combination with these awesome Earth powers, actually seems to be quite powerful. Let's make sure we've got our shield up again. There it is. It's something that we keep having to reapply, by the way. It doesn't stay forever. That sure does stink. All right, here we go. Shiny, we're not going to go past that either. Hive mind transmission. Ensure neural devices always function at optimal parameters. There we go, the home run. Oh, I love it. And there's another worker down there as well. Let's use some more abilities. And that seemed to knock him out of the sky, which is great. Let's do the same. And it looked like the fall actually killed him there. Pretty funny if you ask me. All right, there's another Spec Ops. Don't want to let that one pass us by, especially given that it's a quest objective. And there we go, the good old hammer throw. So many combos and abilities already, and we're only level eight. Everybody knows you're working for Star Labs. Jade access our journal, and you can see here, justice for all, arrest all the spec ops. It was that simple, we are complete. Now we're gonna find the rest of these scientists, Science up, up and away. Now did I hear another mob then? I'm pretty sure I did. Heard somebody, but I can't see them. Hmm, okay, maybe they're downstairs. That's all right. I remember this alley is kind of crawling with them. Yeah, these are like big, slow swings, if you know what I mean. So it's a lot different to say our two-hander or, you know, like the bow or something like that, which are really, really fast. All right, these workers seem to have spawned in. Let's grab them. Putting up our shield, and even though we don't really need it right now, we will definitely need it later on in this instance because, as you can remember, it gets very, very tough very quickly. Now, I'm trying to remember these days to always pick stuff up, and hello, there's a technician. Let's see if we can drop this. There we go, and maybe use it again if I didn't smash it. Nice. I better get back to work before. Mr. Yes, you had better get back to work. Wow, I swear, that takes off so much of their health. Really got to remember to use them more often. Whoops, and I targeted a barrel rather than the actual mob. Let's see if we can get their attention. Get up our shield. We're definitely going to need it around here. And you can see there, up close, we're using our Earth abilities. Look at that. A cloud of dust coming away there. Now it's time for some melee swing around with reckless abandon. And I think we need ourselves a soda cola there. You can see our health was just getting a little bit low. Whack! Whoa! 
knocked all three of them out of the way then. That is awesome. Yep, definitely loving these abilities, without a doubt. All right, there's another Spec Ops. Let's see if we can take him down. It's go time. And knocking him out of the park as well. Oh, there's something satisfying when about Luther using a great big weapon this, like this. You're Seriously. Going down. All right. Remembering what I said before and using the environment to our advantage. Sting them. Oh, a hammer to the face. That has got to hurt. All right, we'll pick this one up again. Just in case there's any mobs around here. And no, there's not. Let's dump that. And you can see we've got a technician here. Hello. Time to rescue you. Well, about time. Like I'd ever tell the hive anything about exobites. God, that's gratitude for you, isn't it? All right, down into this next section. And I'm pretty sure there's people hiding around here. No? Okay, I might be wrong. Dumping that. And here we go. This is scientist number four. Thank you. Uh, please make sure to tell Mr. Luther that I didn't say anything about anything. Plus 2,533 XP. That's a whole bunch of XP. And in fact, if you have a look down here, folks, once I bring back the focus, just have a look how close we are to level 9. Look at that. Our XP bar is pretty much 99.9% .9 full, which is awesome. All right, let's see if we can grab one of these guys and get their attention. Bring him back here. And don't worry, we're not going to forget about the shiny. Oh, getting pulled in there. That stings. And whammo, knocking them out of the park. And there we go, using our abilities in combination with our hammer. And look at that. Look at that, Taraya is now level 9. Congratulations to you, Taraya. That is fantastic. Look at that. Report to the Watchtower's Meta Wing. Report to the Alert Recruiter in Little Bohemia Police Station. And, of course, we've got ourselves a skill point. You know what that means? It's level 9. It means it's time for super speed. As soon as we get this collectible, of course. Hive Mind Transmission. Target acquired. Sting them. Sting them indeed. Here we go. Skill points. And yes, I want flight. Look at that. Here it is. Supersonic. That is us. And you can see here, it's by holding down your numlock or L3. When you're flying, you rocket forward at supersonic speeds. That is exactly what we want. We've been waiting for that one for quite some time. Now, I think pretty much is it Australianus maybe the only character we've got that doesn't have super speed. Oh, and I can see another spec op over there. Even though we don't need him, let's grab him. There may be an achievement. You never know. And tying him up. About this, you're going down. Sure, I'm going down. I don't see that happen anytime soon. All right, time for my shield. There it is. Just in case we get swarmed. And using our nice big AOE there. Excellent. Loving it. Absolutely loving this character. One, two, three. <clears throat> yep. Okay, that was a bit weird. We did knock them out of the park, but because we were kind of semi upside down, go ahead, punk. We didn't make see it. My day. Did he just say, "Go ahead, make my day"? Come on, ten internet points if you know where Everybody that's from. Everybody knows you're working for Star Labs. Swarm them. Look at that. Dispatch them almost immediately. Right now, I always used to get confused about this because it looks like you have to sort of teleport somewhere. But in fact, all you need to do is go straight ahead. Nice and easy. And you can see our objective now is to defeat the Hive Queen. And of course, she can be a nasty piece of work at our level. Let's get our shield up. Get some AoEs happening. Whack! That is so satisfying to pull off that move. Seriously. Oh, using block here. 
and time for a soda not only for our health but also to get ourselves some power back as well and there we go using our earth powered abilities locking onto the target nice and simple one thing I've learned about playing DC Universe all this time is to just try and stay relaxed by the way. If you're freaking out trying to mash buttons as much as possible, it just doesn't work. Like you run out of power very quickly and you're not very effective. If you just take your time, there's no rush, just using the abilities in a nice leisurely fashion, then I've really learned that, you know what, it's a lot easier to play the game. Pretty sure it's designed to be played that way. And you tend to just sort of save your power as well. Much, much easier. Okay, let's see if we can clear out these areas, even though we don't need them. Because, of course, as you can see there, it is cash and it is XP. You can probably destroy all of these if you wanted to. Not that they're going to give you any benefit. But hey, it's fun smashing stuff, right? Yeah, thought so. All right, there's another Spec Ops. I still reckon that might be an achievement. Could be wrong. Dispatch, we're recovering the exabytes by any means necessary. There we go. Let's tie him up. I got my rights. Yeah, well, I think you kind of got rid of those. There we go. Look at that. It was an achievement. Arrest all of the Lex Core cops. And, well, not the cops, but that was indeed a feat. Generally speaking, anything like that, even if you finish the quest and you see more of them, keep doing it because I can guarantee it'll be a, be a feat. Detected. Initiating defense protocols. Alert high soldier bees. All right, of course, the last time we saw one of those guys was at the very beginning of the game in the Brainiac dropship during the introduction area. And we dispatched that one back then very simply. Hopefully we're going to do the same here. I'm going to drop out of the sky, see if we can get on solid ground. Put our shield up. Makes sense, of course, we've got it there, might as well use it. Always trying to lock onto a target as well. And there's another one of our big AoEs. And again. And let's put up our shield once again as well, we're really going to need it now. Alright, definitely liking this character because, of course, if we got swarmed like that on any of our other characters at this early, well, with the exception possibly of maybe our hard light character Jordan, we would have probably died, I'd imagine. Now, I think I saw a green item go in there. Let's have a look. No, no, no. Ooh. Look at that, a two-handed weapon. That is 3.3 DPS better than what we've got. And an extra set of power, 14 more power and five more precision. It's at the expense of nine health and 12 might. Let's give it a go, see what it looks like. We might as well. Make sure we've got everything else we can use here. And by the way, that is an exabyte to unlock Robin for play in the Legends PvP, if you're wondering what that is. All right, let's see what this looks like. Does it look any different? Or did I lock the styles? Let's go in and check that. So of course we go into our styles tab here and I'd say it probably is. Where are we? Accessories, shoulders, feedback, primary weapon. Here we go. Yeah, that is locked. Okay, so here's the spike hammer. Oh, okay. That is a big difference from that one. Yeah. Let's try this one. See what it's like for a while. Oh yeah, that is one big hammer. That's definitely very cool. We'll definitely rock with that one for a little bit. All right, I think we're getting closer and closer to the Hive Queen. Look at this. The Hive Mind has been breached. Overriding directive. Bring the Exobytes to Brainiac. Clear the area! Bring the Exobytes to Brainiac. Bring the Exobytes to Brainiac! Guards! Protect your queen with your lives! Yep, it definitely looks like she's being brainwashed by Brainiac, if you ask me. And of course, this is just like when you go into the Hive Alert. Very similar, although not quite as nasty, of course, because this is designed rights. for single player. But you still got to take out the Hive Queen herself. Let's get our shield up there. See if we can use some of our abilities. Whack. 
Oh, I love that. Oh, and there it is. Knocking her out of the park. It'll mess with your head. Don't make me do this. And when that pollen comes out, you really want to try and avoid it too, by the way. I will serve the queen. Surrender now. Oop, let's roll out of the way. If we can, it kind of this. really messes us up just for a few seconds. I need backup. Whack! That is That's such a big hit. I love it. Let's get our shield up. Down, damn it. Oh. Look at her moving all over the place, trying Don't to avoid us. Uh-oh, we definitely got to avoid these balls. They are nasty. Oh, she loves buzzing about, doesn't she? You will make a fine drone, but you must learn obedience. And a big hammer throw. Oh, she's using the hypnopollen. Let's get out of the way of it. Nearly got her down. You must learn obedience. And there we go. Queen B is down. Well done, Natariah. That was definitely a lot easier than we've done in the past. There is no doubt about it. Shield now active. Signaling Brainiac for assistance. Self-preservation. And look at that. The big chicken. She gets teleported out. From many, one. One mind. One goal. One queen. So they think they are mighty. They think their swarm rivals mine. Soon all of their thoughts will be for me alone. All minds will be one mind. Mine! Brainiac has promised this. Brainiac. I obey. The hive mind has one mind, one queen, and now a king. And there we go. Feet achieved. Unstung heroes. <laughs> Unstung. Get it. Complete the hive base solo instance without being something, and the hive gets stung. That was our headline. Of course, we love those motion comics. They are awesome. Absolutely incredible. Never get sick of them. Complete any major classic solo instance without being not sure what, but it's probably without being killed, I would say. Here's a shiny. Let's grab that before we check our journal. My transmission. The queen commands us. Queen commands you indeed. Let's have a look at our journal. And there we go, the sting is done. Queen Bee and Brainiac. That can't be good for anyone. But hey, we won this round. Since you're so good with insects, how about some help debugging my mainframe? That's a hacker joke. <clears throat> Report to the Flash in the safe house for some new gear. Thank you, Oracle, and thank you for your lame joke. There we go. Report to the Flash, but already, if we complete this, you can see we get ourselves a bunch of sheathed battle boots there, and they give us an extra 15 defense, 9 power, 6 might, and a style that's not collected, so we're definitely going to grab those. Now we know. Brainiac is in control of Queen Bee. He's using her drones to recover his exobytes. I hope this stings Brainiac in the end, but if she doesn't, we will. I'll be in touch. And thanks. Superman out. Thank you, Superman. Oh, it's so good, isn't it? Love this game. Love the instances. Love the motion comics. Love the fact that we get to fight alongside and for all of those iconic characters like Superman, Batman, Wonder Woman, you name it. All right, let's have a look at these boots. Yep, we definitely want to equip those. They're a lot better than what we already had. You can see there. Also got ourselves a much better cape. Definitely going to pop that one on. The rest of that stuff is kind of junk, I think, or worse than what we've got on. Oh, such a good game. All right, so what else have we got now? Pretty sure if we go to type here, the hive is smashed. We've got to go and meet Flash in the safe house. And you can see there, look at that. That is cool. We get ourselves a Carillium Exocracker, which is also a two-handed weapon, even better than the one we just picked up. So we're definitely going to do that to finish off this episode. Let's exit the hive. There we go, and you can see on the mini-map there, speak with the Flash at the Little Bohemia police station. Yep, we're tracking that one, are we? Pretty sure we are. Yes, good, good, good. And of course, now we've got ourselves a chance to test out our new speed ability. Are you ready? And here we go for the first time on Tariah. Woo-hoo-hoo! -hoo! 
Woo! We are up, up and away. Oh yeah, now we feel like a proper superhero. This is why I love flying guys, and this is why I absolutely adore this game. Never get sick of it. What are we up to? Like over 280 episodes. We're still going strong. We're still having fun. We're still finding new things to do, and it still feels fresh. Oh, there's not many MMOs around that can achieve that. Tell you. All right, here we go with all of our friends outside the Little Bohemia MPD station. Let's head on inside, see if we can find ourselves the Flash hand in to finish up this episode. G'day, Harley. All right, where's the Flash? I'm pretty sure he's just up here to the right from memory. Yeah, there's the cross on the minimap. That means he's nearby. There he is. The question over the top of the head. It's the Flash, a.k.a. Sheldon Cooper. Let's see what he's got to say. So now you're the hero-sized bug zapper. Nice. I'll be working with you again soon. Thank you, Flash. Always good to see you. All right, let's have a look at our journal. And yeah, we're one. definitely going to get this new two-handed weapon. Can't wait. And there it is. Let's have a look, see if we can equip it. And what is it, Korean Exo Cracker? Oh, so there's two of them. That's very interesting. This one is the better one, though. And hopefully we'll get to see that. Oh, no, because, of course, we locked the style. Let's see if we can find out what it actually looks like. We go to Style tab here and go down all the way to the bottom here. Primary weapon. Is that not actually a weapon? Am I dreaming? What is it? No, it is weapon. Then how come the style? Oh, maybe the style. Oh, I see. Right. So the style is a spike hammer anyway. That would be why I'm all confused. All right. Well, the other thing I have to do is head on down to the shop and sell off all of my junk and repair up as well. But you know what? I'm not going to bore you guys with that. You've seen it a hundred times before. So we'll sign off here. Certainly hope you enjoyed that action-packed episode with Taraya, our now level 9 Earth-powered superhero. And Lord only knows what we're going to get up to next. Of course, in the next episode, we'll pick something here from the journal. Maybe it'll be Bane. Maybe it'll be the Demons. Or maybe we'll head to the Watchtower. Who knows? One of those things, I'm sure. But in the meantime, we need to get out of here. On behalf of myself, Sambo, and Taraya, our now level 9 super-powered superhero. It's us saying take care i hope you guys are having a great week wherever in the world you are we do look forward to seeing you next time we will see you then and bye bye